My name is Dr. Tim Cook, and I am the co-curator of the War and Medicine exhibition at the Canadian War Museum. The Great War witnessed unprecedented carnage and destruction as modern weapons killed and maimed soldiers by the hundreds of thousands. New medical systems were established to care for the wounded and to either guide them to rehabilitation or return them to the front. In the Canadian Forces, some 3,000 nurses enlisted and some 2,000 served at the front. One of those nurses was Catherine MacDonald. She was a pre-war 30-year-old nurse who had grown up in Brantford, Ontario, and who had enlisted in March of 1917. She would soon be serving on the Western Front. As wounded soldiers flooded into the clearing stations, ambulances, and hospitals, nurses cared for the broken men, administering pain medication, cleaning soldiers, and assisting in surgery. They dealt with ghastly and heartbreaking wounds. Soldiers relied heavily on nurses for emotional support and throughout the process of healing and rehabilitation. Though this could be difficult and painful, as these humorous cards indicate. The nurses, in turn, grew close to their patients. This is an excerpt from Nurse McDonald to her parents on the 24th of March, 1918. We are simply rushed. We get patients from the field since the CCS was bombed. Poor fellows. They have some awful wounds. We have one very sick one. Amputation of both legs above the knee. He lost so much blood that I am afraid for him. We had to send him to the operating room again tonight. And when he came back, he would not rest unless he had my hand. And there I sat and thought every minute my back would break. He is a dear, but I am so afraid he will go out. While nurses were often posted behind the lines, McDonald served in one of the forward hospitals. Her hospital was bombed on the 19th of May, 1918. Nurse McDonald was killed in the attack dying at the age of 31. This is the memorial plaque that was given to her grieving parents. Nurse McDonald was the first Canadian nurse to be killed in the war, and she is one of more than 60,000 Canadians to have died in the Great War. The exhibition War and Medicine has over 300 powerful artifacts, like the ones featured in this video. Ultimately, the exhibition is about the effect of war and medicine on the human experience of war. Every artifact is connected to that human story.